another circuit board. Here's my box of scrap circuit boards. Let me just show you some cool things in here. Some these circuit boards have been sitting around for a long time, years, decades, but they really come in handy sometimes, like they did for this one. And here's you can see somebody was actually etching out chemi chemical etching. There is circuit on here. And I know Dave Jones has talked about this. I don't think he's actually showed it though in any of his videos. And that's the, uh, the red tape method of uh, optically putting the pattern onto the, the copper clad board. You can see these are some patterns that have been printed. You know, this is all black pattern on a, printed on a Xerox machine, but there's also some, some red tape, red translucent tape, just like this stuff that you can partly see through it. And here I've got some examples of red tape. Here's something that looks like about five millimeter thick. This one is a lot thinner. But basically what you would do is, you know, you would put this tape onto the transparency and cut it to very, you know, you'd have to cut small lengths, maybe if, maybe you could make a turn and, you know, put some curves in it, but it was a long and tedious process. I never did it myself, but I'm sure it would be a very long and tedious process to actually do it that way. And I don't know the exact details of the process, but I can clearly see the evolution of these transparencies. Here's one. You can see originally it was printed in the black, but then some, whoever was making this, you can see they scratched off some of the black marking here and then put red tape right there instead because that's how they wanted to move the trace apparently. And, um, and then they used that to make another transparency. It's the same pattern, but here there's that, that corner is lopped out and then the correction is right there. And then even on this transparency, there's the black frame that went around here. You can see, see there's this black corner right there. Whereas on this one, it's been scratched out. And so, apparently it was this piece that was then used. Let's see if I can line this up. There we go. This piece was used to make the actual circuit board. Every detail, everything perfectly lines up here between the transparency and the circuit board. And then the other side would have been made with this one. There we go.